Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. I'm the Orange Genius, but you will call me Eric, and in the last episode we ended up finishing up our business in Trista. We talked to everybody and we prepared a little bit for our field study, and now we are gonna go and head head on out, I guess. We're gonna get our tickets and then we're gonna leave for Legram. Good morning, everyone. Group A is headed to Legram, correct? Yes, that's right. We'd like to purchase tickets to Legram via Berea Heart. Coming right up. Do you want them right away? Buy tickets. Okay, so that's six passengers bound for Legram via Berea Heart. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Yes. Oh, you're all heading out? Who? Who? Who's that? What? Oh! Uh. Lecter! Isn't that... Huh? What are you doing here, Lecter? You miss me already? Sure did. I'm gonna be back in Crossbell starting the day after tomorrow. Might never have the chance to see you again in this lifetime, so I figured I'd drop by and say hello. You're getting Toa. Shh, whatever. You're so silly. There's no way you or Gramps would die that easily. Well, that old goat might scare off the Reaper, but I'm pretty weak, you know. Who's he? Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. Uh, Arundel? We saw him while we were on our field study in Nord. He's the one supposedly responsible for negotiating with the Republic's army to prevent war from breaking out. But... <laughs> so he's the iron blood they call Scarecrow. I have to admit, he doesn't look like someone who specializes in espionage. I saw that. Well, I'm sure this little drop of sunshine's got suspicious written all over her, but I hope you're getting along. Well, you know who else is getting along? Celine is getting along, literally. Don't hesitate to give her a good spanking if she causes too much trouble, though. I don't think that's legal. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't think that's legal. Um, we'll try our best to be a welcoming class. I'm not gonna cause them any trouble. Yeah, right. Unlike you, I'm a little angel. What? What, what kind of little angel would casually whip out something like Eric Getlam in public? Do you have any idea how much overtime we put in just covering up for you? Huh? You do? Hmm. Passenger service bound for... Heindal, now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board, please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. If you'll excuse us, Captain. I'm afraid we need to catch this train. Oh, sure thing. Uh, good luck out there, guys. Oh, and by the way, I I'd prefer it if you referred to me as secretary rather than captain in public. Why? After all, I am a second secretary for the Imperial government. I see. Well then, if you'll excuse us, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> Mr. Secretary, you like to uh, undersell yourself then, huh? You'd better bring me back a souvenir from Crossbell. A bullet hole in his shoulder. Nah. We're not gonna let it get that far. I knew it. I shouldn't have put on these these cat ears. If I hadn't put on those cat ears, Celine would not have come along. There you are. Well, we're definitely gonna find out this time what's going on with with Emma. <laughs> They seem like an even more interesting bunch than I'd heard. Hope she gets the chance to soak in the good times at school like I did. Well, well. For two Ironbloods, you two have a pretty cozy thing going. Uh-oh. Looks like a scary lady's got me in her sights. Time to make my exit. 
Not so fast. Didn't you have something you were supposed to give me? Come on, cough it up. <laughs> they don't call you the purple lightning for nothing. So, he's not here for Toa. Maybe you should consider giving up this teaching gig and coming to work for us. I'll bet we could offer double what the Academy's paying you. No sweat. Yeah, like she's about money. Ah, Strictly business, huh? Obviously. <laughs> I'm not getting any younger here. Hand it over. This is the list of every member of the Imperial Liberation Front that we're aware of at present. We've made progress in identifying their top figures, too. I see. I suppose I should thank you. Oh, uh, one more thing. Claire had a message she wanted me to pass along. I'm listening. Their primary target is Crossbell City, but there's a chance that something else will be going down within the Empire at the same time. Those were her words. Hmm. Are you gonna literally show Celine again? So even the person that didn't see her those two times will now see her? Or, oh no, now she's gone, she fell off. Most likely that. It's like a sea of green out there. Hey, you sis, why is that wheat all green? Wheat, barley, and rye are all cultivated in the, in the Kreuzen province. Each is grown in its season, which means that you are, uh, what you're seeing right now is, is the fall wheat crop. Oh, look, there's a weird scarecrow. Ha, ah, looks like, uh, look at it said, it looks all messy like Hector's, like Lecter's. Uh. Well, as long as she's enjoying herself. Hmm. At times like these, she seems just like a little girl her age. It's still hard to believe she's only 13. That's a year younger than my brother. It really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? I suppose this is as good a time as any to tell you more about where, where we'll be conducting our field study. Le Grand is a small town in the southeast of the Empire, situated on the shore of Lake Ebel. My father, Viscount, uh, uh, Viscount or Sade, governs the, uh, the town, which itself is part of the Kreuzen province. That sounds familiar. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that the province uses his father overseas? Well, technically, yes. But Le Grand is known for being a particularly self-reliant region. I doubt the Viscount has much interest in the authority of his liege lord. I suppose I cannot deny it. My father can be a little too free-spirited at times. But I can't help but feel our father's governance has its own issues, especially where taxation is concerned. <laughs> it's not as though I'm unaware of that. Um, Sorry, I seem to have touched on a sensitive issue there. No, there's nothing for you to apologize for. Exchanges like these are the daily bre bread of the nobility. It's true that the four great houses do have immense power, but it's still up to the individual feudal lords to govern their respective regions. And as far as taxation goes, each region has its own stat uh, statuettes, or stat statutes, which make the whole situation even more com complicated. It is quite convoluted. Although the imperial government doesn't seem to be attempting to, uh, to unify all regions under their single tax system, that's one of the major points of dispute between the two factions. Incidentally, my father's stance on the matter is hell will freeze over before I consent to it. I do understand the reformists' point of view. But each region of the Empire has its own traditions and customs. Attempting to normalize all of those under a single system seems a little insensitive. Hmm, the more you tell me, the more complicated it sounds. Well, it's certainly not an issue with a nice, clear-cut solution. This is boring! Do you have any more cool stories about Legram? 
I suppose a couple students batting about ideas about taxation isn't going to get really solve anything. But I guess, to me, one of the things Legram is most famous for is the Arsaid School. Ah, isn't that the thing Laura's dad teaches? That's the one, the Arsaid School of Swordsmanship is the style passed down by the ancient knights of Erebonia. It's one of the two most famous martial styles in the empire, the only the, uh, the other being the Vander School. I've heard there's a training hall where students of the Arsaid School come all over uh, the empire to train, from all over the empire. Indeed there is. Several students of the school are studying in Legram at the moment. The rest are scattered throughout the empire. And Laura's father instructs them all. He does. Viscount Arsaid is not only the Lord of Legram, he's also the current head of the Arsaid school. Oh, oh, oh! Doesn't he have a, some super cool title like the Radiant Blade Master or something? He sounds crazy strong! This may sound unseemly coming from his daughter, but his strength is, quite frankly, inhuman. I would easily place him among the three strongest people in the Empire. He sounds like an incredible guy. I've heard plenty of rumors about his strength myself. From what I understand, he acts as a combat instructor for this nation's armies, both provincial and imperial. Though as a result, I hear he spends a significant amount of time away from his territory. That is unfortunately the case. We may be visiting my home, but there's no guarantee that my father will even be there. I see. That's a shame, I'd really like to meet him! Oh, yes, when we reach Legram, I'd like to ask a favor of you all. A favor? I was hoping it would be possible for you to show your, respect, uh, your respective styles to the Arsaid School students. This group has practitioners of the Eight Leaves, Blades, uh, Eight Leaves One Blade School, court fencing and spearmanship alike. And I have no doubt each would be of interest to students of the martial arts. Hmm, perhaps so. A chance to learn more about other schools might broaden our own horizons, too. Are you sure my spearmanship would be of interest to them, though? Both Reen and Yusis at least use swords. Certainly. The Arsaid School teaches more than just sword play. While some use two-handed swords like myself, others use spears and even bows. Perhaps even Emma's orbital staff may be of interest. Y you think? Hey, what about me? What about me? Lemmy's really sp strong, too. True, but it's just raw strength. There's no skill or technique involved. I concur. Watching Air Gatlam wouldn't afford the. Uh, I concur. Watching Air Gatlam wouldn't afford the students any chance to learn new techniques of their own. Boo hoo! You meanies! No fear leaving me out. <laughs> anyway, I do think that would be a nice gesture, but that's assuming we get the chance before our field study's over. Of course, I look forward to it if you if we do. I would love the opportunity to show the students each of uh, your respective styles in turn. I am, uh, am I to assume then that you'll all participate if such an opportunity d does arise? Of course, we would not miss it. Lavender. Surely it's just a coincidence. It has to be. W what's wrong, Emma? Are you letting? Uh, are you getting motion sickness or something? No, I'm fine. I was just wondering if we might be able to see Lower Green Castle while we're in Legram. Oh, that castle is uh, the castle that came up in Instructor Tomas's lesson the other day. Weather permitted, uh, uh, permitting, it can be seen quite clearly. It's surrounded by mist more often than not, but such imid, uh, imag imagery has its own appeal as well. Oh wow, that actually sounds pretty neat. Yeah, it does. I was just thinking it would be nice if we could apply some of the knowledge we learned in class to our field study, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, that would be. Plus, Lower Green Castle served as the base for Saint Sandlot. Hmm. Emma? Ah, sorry, don't mind me. I'm just excited about what we might see there. We still have some time before we reach, we reach Be Berea Heart. But we'll be changing trains as soon as we arrive, so make sure you're ready. I will be, though it's a shame we won't have time to stick around for a while. I would have liked to see Rufus again if we had the chance. I'm sure he's much too busy for that anyway. And it hardly seems appropriate to return home now after I chose not to during the summer. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> is something on your mind? I'm just wondering what my family and the other nobles are doing at the moment. 
this past month. They've been a little overly quiet. Now that you mention it, I haven't heard of any major conflicts between the two factions lately at all. Hmm, maybe they're just showing some re restraint for a while? After all, the craziness that happened at the festival last, last month. Neither faction is considerate enough to avoid conflict over something so trite. I suppose I should, uh, should just try to focus on our next field study, not concern myself with matters beyond my control. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a good idea. I'm concerned about my family's activities, but this hardly seems the time to show, uh, show my face back home. I'll try to focus on my field study and put the whole matter out of my mind for now. This issue of regional culture, uh, cultural heritage is quite a profound one. So profound as to ne have its own tax implications. Well, the de desire to preserve the region's tradition and heritage is pretty important in most places throughout the empire. Like the old animistic traditions in Legram, I hear a lot of those are still around. Indeed, no doubt you will see many of them firsthand during our stay. Countless anecdotes regarding the Lance Maiden remain as well. Hmm, sounds like Legram has a lot in common with my home in Nord. Our cultures and traditions may differ, but we worship the same goddess and spirits. I think that's a fact many Erebonians are starting to forget. If, and if you ask me, those traditions are worth protecting, even if it means a little extra money going to taxes. Yes, I feel the same. It seems there will be much to learn during this month's field study. Our cultures and traditions may differ, but the people of Legram and Noor both worship the same goddess and spirits. Our traditions are definitely worth protecting, even if that means l l l l levying a few more taxes. Huh, look at all the trees going, pa going past the window, this is so cool! I want to ride more trains like this, it's really fun! Really now? I'm kind of surprised. I assumed being in the intelligence division meant you'd be taking trains all the time. Well, I usually just ride on Lammy when I'm out on a mission. And the super fast train clear and the others in the RMP, uh, in the RMP use doesn't have any windows. And Gram's special train is too fancy so you can't really relax. Huh, interesting. It's not often that you get to ride a regular train like this then, does, is it? But if you get too excited here, you're not gonna have much excitement left for when we reach our destination. What makes you think that, Reen, really? Especially considering how early you got up this morning. Yeah, but I was so excited I could barely sleep. It'll be, I'll be fine. I've still got plenty of energy. Huh? What? What am I saying? See? Told ya. We'll be in Beret Hard soon, so try to get some sleep on the next train, okay? Okay. Times like this, she really, really is just like any other 13, uh, 13 year old. Woohoo, I want to keep enjoying the view out of the window. Oh well. Hmm, I can't wait till I get there. Honestly. Playblade. What is she doing? Falling asleep? Waking up? Yep. Challenge Laura. Then let us begin our duel. Yes, our duel. Shall begin. Play some blade. Wow, I've got a seven. Please draw a card. I've got relatively high cards. I've even got two bolts. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be good. Then I'll make the first move. You can. A three. Okay, I'm still higher with this. Uh, let's use a... Divine bolt. Four. It, it is not divine, okay. Divine Bolt. You can use all the bolts. I've got pretty high cards. Mirror. Uh, two can play that game. I didn't expect that. That's two. That's a bummer. Oh. <laughs> well played. Uh, of course, they're ceiling cards. A six is relatively <laughs> high, though. Well played. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. Oh, bummer. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. Oh, bummer. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. Uh, okay. <laughs> then I'll make the first move. Nice. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. Oh, she did that on purpose. The first move is yours. You are a jerk, We're evenly lady. matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. Oh, I hope she doesn't have... I admit defeat. Well done. What? Why were you not... Ah. Uh, okay. 
Well, that was not that was not skill, that was luck. Which is a bummer. Let's play Blade against Emma. <laughs> Please go easy on me. I won't. Because you don't go easy on me ever. Holy shnikes! What the heck? Four bolts. Allow me to play first then. Uh, sure. It's a three. I'm not gonna waste a bolt on a three. I'm gonna use a bolt card. Oh, don't do that. I'm gonna use a bolt card as well. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. Of course. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. A four. She's two ahead. Two is not enough for me to use a mirror. I wasn't expecting that. Two is not enough for me to use a mirror. And if I play a, if I play this, she's gonna use mirror, isn't she? Sorry, I'm using a mirror. No, would no, no need to apologize. Oh no, this could be trouble. Ooh, that's a good bolt. Ouch! I wasn't expecting that. Ah, oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. What? Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. Yeah, let's switch cards. Oh no, this could be trouble. Bam. Oh no, you beat me. Oh no, you beat me. Charlie beat me. Yeah, I beat you. Good. Good, good, good. Let's play Blade against Uses. If we have to. Two for two. Seems nice. Seems like a good score so far. Uh, Draw a card. That's a... <laughs> Go ahead, then. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. Take this. I will. Take this. Uh, let us use the seven, then. You have another bolt. Oh, come on. Don't do me. How about this? How about that? Well, you impertinent little... Don't call me that. We have the same score. No! Let's redraw. Dick! <laughs> Go ahead, then. Well, you impertinent little... We have the same score. You Let's dick! Redraw. Don't do that every time when I have seven <laughs> out. Go ahead, then. Aw, oh, you jerk. <laughs> now you've done it. At least it wasn't a complete waste of time. What? Oh, you had no way to get up to my level. That's cool. I have. That's the first time I've won this way. So you blew all your good cards. So the, every time the enemy has had pretty bad cards, huh? Oh no, he used all his sixes. He'd had pretty good cards. Gaius, shall we begin? Like if I were you, I'd be scared. I'm three for three. Which makes the statistics say Go I'm gonna draw. lose this time. Huh. It seems we need to draw again. Well, then let's draw yeah, again. You should go first, then. Ah, ah. I mean, if you say so, I don't have a healing card, so we can't waste high cards early, and he's gonna use bolts. Now use a bolt. I expected that. Now use a bolt. Yeah. Okay, he's huh. out of bolts. It seems we need to draw again. Hmm. You should go first, then. Two ahead. He didn't. He didn't it use a mirror. To draw again. He did not use a mirror, and I'll I wasted first, the then. six. Oh. Oh, this is good. This is beautiful. He's ahead by three. <laughs> well done. Do do do. <laughs> well done. Yeah, he had healing twice. Huh. Well played. Four out of four? Are you kidding? Oh man, now the game is crashing. What? No. Oh, what the shit? You're actually crashing? No! Don't do this! Don't do this! I'm four out of four. No. No. Oh, he did it. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, you know. You know. 
That sucks. I guess I'm gonna have to do that again. We'll see each other in the next episode, I guess. Yeah, it's been 25 minutes. Well, that's a big bummer, man! I was I was on a streak and the game just took it from me, ripped it right out of my heart. It hurts. Ah, I'll see you next time. Toodles!